What's up ladies and gents, this is Ryan Humphreys with Engearment.com and today I am going to review the Slumberjack Ronin negative 20 degree sleeping bag. Let's get into it. First up, let's talk sizing. All right, now you can look on their website and see how tall are you and what size bag should you get. Now, I'm 5'6", I got the long. It's the, biggest, it's the biggest size they make. Do I need a long? Absolutely not. However, I am a big fan of just being able to move around a lot in a sleeping bag. Now, for me, I got this cold weather bag knowing that I'm not gonna be hiking in a long way with it. And so the six pound weight, that's right, six pounds, that's like two and a half Nalgene bottles. Six pounds is probably a little hefty for some. Now, if you're thinking backpacking, Probably not. But do you need a negative 20 degree bag for backpacking? Probably not. At least I don't. When I'm backpacking, it's typically spring, summer, or fall. If it's winter and I'm camping, that's most likely car camping. All right, maybe doing some snowshoeing. Regardless of what I'm doing when I'm camping, I want the best possible night of sleep that I can get. And one thing I don't like is being cold when I don't want to be cold. Yes, I do expose myself to ice baths and things of that nature. And that's just so it doesn't suck as much when I'm out in the elements. All right, it's six degrees right now in Denver, Colorado. And I'm standing here in the sleeping bag. Now, if you've looked around at negative 20 degree bags or just cold weather camping bags in general, look, unless you're going for a high level mountain expedition, some sort of mountaineering, going to Everest Base Camp or, or Denali or something like that, then you might be interested in a lighter, more packable sleeping bag. For me, I know that in winter, I want a nice warm bag and I'm car camping. I don't really care about the weight. All right, so this thing is just about six pounds, which yes, is hefty, but again, I've got it in my car. Personally, I don't really care about the weight. Now, if you're just looking for a very warm bag and you're not worried about the weight, I challenge you, I dare you per se, to find a bag more equipped, more durable than the Ronin negative 20. All right, the Ronin negative 20 comes in at $124.99. Slumberjack is not a new brand, all right? These guys have been around for well over 50 years. Something interesting, though and uh, as you can see so what i'm using right now is called the arms out are out the arms out function now i'm also um, they don't call it this but i'm using the legs out feature so the slumberjack has a zipper on each side so there's, you can either zip from the bottom or zip from the top now this thing is pretty long if i walk out here right you can check it out this thing is pretty long but if i had to I could get up and go tend to the fire or something like that and still stay pretty damn warm. What I could also do is pull this little guy up like a hood. I can read, I could sip on some mezcal, high five my buddy in the tent, um, do whatever you want, but essentially you have hands-free option, right? So you can read all about the type of fill uh, and things like that online. What I wanna do is tell you about like the, the legit versatility of this bag. You're not gonna find a negative 20 bag for under $200 that is as comfortable, all right, that has as many features. The hood also in warmer weather can actually be rolled up and turned into a pillow. So that's pretty legit. The zippers, all right, here have something called a draft tube. Now a draft tube is just a little flap that goes alongside and kind of along the back um, that helps airflow knock it in. The two zippers run down the side, but they don't go all the way around the bottom. If there is going to be a cold spot on your sleeping bag, it's probably on the zipper. Personally, my, my feet, I don't know, they're kind of important. I like them. Um, I'm not a foot guy, just like my own feet. All right, um, I don't want them to get cold. And look, if it's, if it's negative 20, I'm gonna be wearing socks, I'm gonna be wearing gloves, and I'm probably gonna be wearing my coyote hat when I sleep. That being said, personally, if I know that I'm camping in negative 20, one, I'm not gonna do that because I'm not trying to prove anything to anybody. 
Um, but if it's negative 20, I probably want like a negative 50 degree bag or an, at least a negative 40. My own personal philosophy is um, whatever the temperature is outside, have a bag that's about 20 degrees less than that. So that being said, six degrees in Denver right now, I would totally camp in this. Matter of fact, I have camped in single degree digits with the founder of Engearment, Mr. Sean Sewell himself. He and I camped out. Um, I was in my car, he was in his, and you know what? I thought, I'm gonna test this bag out. So I wanted to really test it, so I got naked. And I was fine for a little bit. I was toasty, and then I started thinking, that's kind of silly. I can at least put some long underwear on. Um, I wouldn't recommend necessarily sleeping naked in single degree digits in a negative, uh, negative 20 degree bag, but look, if, it's, if, if you know it's gonna be less than 30 degrees, this thing's pretty legit. It comes in at six pounds, which yes, some of you might go, oh, six pounds for, that's awful heavy. It is if you're backpacking. Uh, I would say again, are you backpacking in negative 20? Because if you want something lighter, you're literally gonna spend hundreds of dollars more. To, to save a pound, you're gonna spend 100. You're gonna save three pounds, you're gonna spend $300 more. The average bag, if you look online, best cold weather sleeping bags, majority of those are three, four, five, six, up to $900, all right? And if you are doing some legit mountaineering where you're gonna be hiking for an extended period of time, money's probably not an object. You want something very lightweight, all right? Go ahead and spend six, $700 for that one time you're gonna go do that thing. But for me, as a guy that just likes a good, warm sleeping bag for potentially cold weather car camping, I don't think you're gonna find anything better than the Slumberjack Ronin negative 20, uh, especially with this arms out feature. I can dance, I can sing, whatever. That's my semi-short review for the Ronin negative 20 sleeping bag. If you wanna know anything else, please ask away. Uh, more than happy to share, but I challenge you to find a better bag for this price. Thanks for watching.